Hey, it's St. Davis Pipes. Welcome back. Beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. Seagram's Ginger Ale. Not as sweet as Canada Dry or Schweppes. Very good, if you like ginger ale. Savanelli 2017 Christmas Pipe. In it, Cheriton morning pipe with a 303 British shell tamper. So today I want to talk about some tobaccos that I don't like. And there's several. These are just a few that I thought I'd share with you. So uh, here they are. There's a few old codger blends and there's some boutique blends on here. Now, Make no mistake, if you like these, that's great. This isn't a diss to you, okay? This is my taste. Remember, tobacco is subjective. That's why I don't do reviews, because everybody has their own taste. I don't do reviews. I just think, you buy it, you try it. I might love it, you might hate it. The other way around. Anyway... So if you like these blends I mentioned, more power to you, enjoy your smokes. And here they are, and I always say there's no particular order. An old codger blend, half and half. Now I know it's Pat Spellin and Piper's favorite codger blend. To me, it smells like Kellogg's cornflakes and it tastes like cornflakes. I don't like that one. Anything anything from Ken Bryan Ventures. These tobaccos, I got a sampler a month or so ago, and I think I mentioned this before, of five or six of their blends. My goodness, it's like smoking hot air. No flavor. Burley Morning Pipe, I think they call it. My goodness, it was so mild. I shouldn't have even wasted my time lighting my pipe. And there were some other ones that escaped me from them. To me, it was a waste of money. Um, I gave, I gave some of, uh, I gave them all away to friends in the YTPC. Uh, you may be one of them that I gave away to. Just to me, hot air, no flavor, no taste. Uh, definitely. Definitely uh, a company that makes very mild, mild, tasteless tobacco, in my opinion. You may disagree, and I understand that. Okay, Autumn Evening. I tried that when it first came out decades ago. Uh, I might as well have got Jolly Rancher Candy. And uh, some caramels and some Kit Kats, crashed it all up, crunched it all up, put it in a bowl and lit it. Sickening sweet. Sickening sweet. Goopy mess in the bowl. Wow. <laughs> Any cherry blend. Doesn't matter what brand, what company, how it's processed. Any cherry blend. Because I do not like real cherries. I do not like cherry candy. I do not like cherry pop or soda, whatever part of the country you're in. We say pop here in Western PA. I don't like cherry ice cream, cherry pie, cherries, nothing, including pipe tobacco. And uh, ooh, a little windy there, my paper's going. And I don't like anything with heavy to medium perique. Now, I could smoke a tiny bit of perique. It is a strong tobacco and I appreciate that part. And it's strong in nicotine and I like that part of it, but I just don't care for that taste. I don't care for the taste of a heavy to medium perique. Now, if the tobacco has a tiny bit of perique, I don't mind it. Orlick Golden Slice is a fine example. It has Virginia's and Perique. It's a vapor. 
and if you're new to pipe smoking and pipe tobacco vapor is short for Virginia and Perique blend. Now, the Orlick Golden Slice has a tiny bit of Perique. It's not that overbearing in your face. And I really enjoy Perique when it's just a subtle hint like Orlick Golden Slice. Uh, any of the Borkum Rift, that's another Codger blend, by the way. Any of the Borkum Rift uh, blends, I just think these are poorly made, poorly done with cheap tobacco. Uh, I believe the Scandinavian Tobacco Company makes them. I could be wrong, but I think they make them. And they're a good tobacco company. For some reason, I just think these are poorly made. Any of the big bag tobaccos, uh, Super Value, uh, Cherokee, there's countless names, uh, Cost Saver, what have you. I've tried, one, oh, maybe, maybe three or four of these big, huge pound bags in the past to save money. I did not save money because I ended up giving them away. Very, very cheap tobacco. A lot of stems in them. You'll get an occasional stem in the finest, most expensive tobacco. It happens. But these had quite a few, quite a few stems in the tobacco, in the bags. Uh, various brands, various companies. Don't like them at all. Well, those are some, those are some tobaccos that I don't like, that I don't buy, that I don't care for, that I won't smoke. And um, in my gaw two days ago, uh, folks were putting, I asked what your favorite tobacco is and what your least favorite tobacco. And some of you mentioned the ones that I just said, either as your favorite or your least favorite. And as I always say, that's fine. That is fine. These are just for you and mine. Anyway, like I said, beautiful day. Look at that sky. A few cumulus clouds going up to 85. It's about 82 now. Just a gorgeous day here in western Pennsylvania, Beaver County. And yes, Beaver County is named after the mammal beavers at one time in the late 1600s up until the Revolutionary War this area was polluted with beavers due to the Ohio River that runs through Beaver County. Ohio River actually divides Beaver County in half. The countless streams and creeks and tributaries. There's a town called Beaver Falls named after the real falls, waterfalls. Very small. Uh, we actually have beaver back in the Beaver Falls at this moment. Some dams have been spotted. But this area was trapped out right at the beginning of the Revolutionary War. And the beaver did not come back to about 15 years ago when the steel mills were torn down and the waterways cleaned up. And if you didn't know, I'm a history lover, and uh, that's some trivia for you. So yeah, Beaver County actually named after the mammal. Anyway, have a good day, and we will see you.